It's a skill that dates back to the horse and buggy, but feels downright refreshing today. The UK's famous black cabs find their way around London's 26,000 streets without GPS, relying only on the wits of their drivers. Left at St Pancras Way, right at Crowndale Road, left at Hampstead Road. Tony Burnside is among the thousands of drivers who've had to study for the intensive memory test known as the knowledge. It is said to be the hardest driving exam of its kind in the world and can take years. Tony says it only took him 15 months. I kind of got into this job by accident because a friend of my sister's uh, challenged me to do the knowledge. Well, modesty forbids me from telling you who won that challenge. <laughs> but London cabbies get brain benefits along with bragging rights. It's been scientifically proven that on average they boast bigger posterior hippocampuses than the rest of us. That's the part of the brain that manages long-term memories and spatial awareness. Now an ongoing study is revealing more. What scientists have found is that the longer they've been working, the larger the posterior hippocampus becomes. That's important because it's also the part of the brain that shrinks in Alzheimer's patients. So there could be clues for researchers tackling the disease. And technology trailblazers too are thinking about how to harness this unique brain power. Researchers say these supersized brains of London cab drivers can even help improve the most advanced AI systems. Their brains can run super efficiently at that, whereas AI takes a lot of resources to do the same. So there may be some tricks and efficiencies we can learn from London taxi drivers that can build better AIs. So while AI and tech like self-driving cars could be the way of the future, they're no match yet for the grey matter in Tony's black cab. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.